Over the last three years, Mumia Sugar Company has registered losses running into billions of shillings. Towards the end of last year, the company was almost grounding to a halt. This necessitated the government to call for an audit that revealed irregularity in management, bloated staff, weak governance structure, exaggeration of transport and input costs, and deficiencies in the production process and some of the problems facing the company. In a meeting with Western members of parliament, President Uru Kenyatta called on the leaders to put their political differences aside in order to grow the Western economy. The meeting discussed a four-point turnaround strategy for Mumia Sugar Company that includes appointment of a professional management team, injection of funds based on a viable plan, undertaking a rights issue to raise between three and four billion Kenya shillings, and rescheduling of debts the company owes financial institutions. President Kenyatta said the release of funds for the recovery of the key sugar company is based on the government's commitment to support cane farmers but not politics. President Kenyatta expressed optimism that the funds will help to turn around Mumia Sugar Company into a profit-making venture that will not only benefit cane farmers but also boost the economy of the western region. Deputy President William Ruto said Mumia Sugar Company has the capacity to operate at a profit if it is managed professionally. Saying there are people who do not want Mumia Sugar to be revived so that they can blame it on the Jubilee government, the deputy president asked the legislators from Western region to join hands and shame the pessimists. Western Kenya members of parliament recommended that those who owe Mumia Sugar Company must be pursued and made to pay promptly as part of the measures to support the company. Michael Geshoki reporting for the Business News Hour.